Welcome to another episode of Shotgun on Toy Reviews. Some idiots, a camera, and a review. And tonight we are doing a twofer. We are looking at Hasbro's Cobra Eel, Amazon exclusive, and just regular Copperhead. Copperhead has been sitting on the table for a month now. At least, yeah. And I just got the Cobra Eel. Cobra, let's do it. All right. Once again, Hasbro has dumbfounded me by how good these guys are compared to some of their other stuff. It's like they put extra effort into G.I. Joe. Yeah. And they're putting less effort into Marvel Legends. Yeah. Let's say. Let's just start with, he has a great tattoo oh, on he his does. arm. He has it's an armband that's sliding off. Very impressive. Yeah. Trying to decide if I'm going to glue those on or not. Uh, he also has a silver that. But he has a silver belt buckle. He has green paint apps. Silver paint apps, like... Ooh. Well done. Marvel Legends doesn't get that anymore. Nope. Um, I think you're going to have to glue it. Yeah. He's got... I don't know diver speak, but he's got diver stuff painted great and sculpt sculpted great. He's got some red. He's got an awesome... Like, every Cobra guy just looks pissed off. I love it. Even in a mask. He's even got a black accent there. Just super cool paint jobs. The fact that they even bothered to paint the red shape up there. Like, stuff they don't do. Yes. There's paint that's even hidden underneath other sculpted, painted things. That's... They really... They really are selectively talented <laughs> I don't know. what do you mean he's got paint on his gloves I think that the G.I. Joe line has benefited greatly due to Valiverse I think in an attempt to keep up with Valiverse they're trying harder on Joe's I don't think Marvel Legends considers Todd McFarlane's DC a competitor correctly I think McFarlane is neck its competitor if anything yes because they're but anyway, older Joes weren't were good, but not this good. Yeah, Wave One had the sculpt, had some weird paint sci-fi okay. elements, and now they're like, "This is what we know people want, and we're just going to deliver it." Yeah, I like it. Thanks for watching. Why? Because the Cobra Eel was always one of my favorite guys as a kid. He looked super cool. And this guy, I never had because I never had the water moccasin okay. as a kid. But he just looks awesome. Like, he, he's, I can't remember which one of you said it, but he's like the cousin of a dreadnought. John. John. Sketch night, John. Not here tonight. <coughs> Cough for John, who's died. Uh, yeah. But, man. Just, they all just look so angry. You wanted to show off articulation. I did. So... He has boot swivel. Standard G.I. Joe uh, Hasbro articulation. Uh, boot swivel. Not everybody has boot swivel. What blew my mind, because he has boots on. Mm -hmm. So he's wearing a wetsuit. And typical Hasbro, if a guy has a solid leg, unless it's a rare Spider-Man, they do not have boot swivel. But they gave him a little raised line where his wetsuit stops and gave him boot swivel. It's really nice. Now, there are hundreds, thousands of Marvel Legends guys who have a painted boot yeah. that they could just put boot swivel and don't mm -hmm. see our Karnak review. Right. And it just... it. It blows my mind. Like, I can't remember the last time somebody had a mid-shin swivel. I feel like the G.I. Joe team is taking the best elements of Marvel and Star Wars and making just toys that beat both groups. Yeah. And as much as I, we, we don't care for Hasbro on the whole at times, these guys are awesome. And pinless. And pinless. They've been pinless the whole time. Right. So crazy. Um, Meanwhile, 
brand new sculpted Drax pins. Well, he's from space. They have they, they haven't discovered pinless in space. They're, they're backwards. <laughs> oh, poor Drax. Poor, poor Drax. So, typical G.I. Joe classified fashion, they also come with a bunch of accessories. They do. And just to point out, he has a, sh a gun holster on his leg. He has two arm pieces. He has a bandolier. He has a detachable backpack or gun holster. Um, and a detachable belt with knife sheath. So... Compared to him, he seems like he got the short stick, which you'll see in a few seconds, but he actually has a lot of extra bits. And all of that, I assume, is going to get filled. Yes, because he comes with what I would call a Luger, or a long, I don't know, looks like a James Bond Luger to me, a little bit longer. A little bit. That he can hold, and can fit in his that and much like everything it goes right snap on camera easily peasy he also comes with his version of his machete or whatever fish gutting thing weapon this is uh, nice silver paint and if you're dumb like me you first try and put it in here and you're like why does this have bullets and then you go oh sh stupid brick and it goes in over here. Shunk. Sheath. And then he comes with the Harry Callahan Megatron gun. Sure is. Which is awesome. I love it. And he can hold it easy. And you can also lickety split store it in his backpack, which closes right away on camera again. Stupid armband falls off. So yeah, he comes with three weapons that he can stow on his person. Awesome. Now the Cobra Eel is crazy. The original toy didn't have this head sculpt. It just came with the mask head sculpt. Okay. So he comes with a separate diving mask with clear plastic so you can put that on and you can get it online he can look out that it has the plastic tubing what does the plastic tubing go to it goes to this crazy cobra with awesome cobra eel symbol on it and crazy I don't know turbines propulsion, turbine propulsion Some, something and this one I always have trouble getting this one in because it is angled and for some reason it's going through two layers it's going through two layers yeah but I can never get it lined up right the first time all right so he gets his backpack and then these have little holes you can plug the air into of course you can't do it on camera because everything else went easy with copperhead and then you can plug that side in. So he's got that going on. He comes with a sheath. He has a nice little red and black dagger that he can hold and stores in his sheath. The original figure had flippers that pegged onto his feet because all J.I. Joe's had holes. While he does have the holes, they don't peg in they still have the holes though oh. um they have what are those shows everybody likes that i hate uh crocs he has croc flippers they actually flip up and hook onto his foot so they don't fall off i think that's how they really work probably <clears throat> and you can still if you need a peg hole it still has the peg hole i don't know why you would need to peg him on anything Oh, no, not, these. not once the flippers are on. Um, so, yeah, he has giant flippers. So he can do all kinds of swimming action. And then my favorite accessory besides the helmet is he comes with this lovely harpoon gun, which has a silver harpoon. 
I don't, I don't know the parts. Is that silver? I mean, shit. Comes with a gold harpoon and has a red little strap um, so he can put that around his hand. Move his thumb out of the way. Why is it? You saw it. I had him geared up. Yeah. It was all easy, huh? So he has his little harpoon gun, and then there you go. Uh, so he's awesome. He's awesome. So this 1000% makes me go, man, does anyone remember when NECA showed up the big sock and everyone, what are you talking about sock? I'm like, no, idiot. It's a picture of their seven inch scale Bruce Jaws figure. It's a couple years ago. Yeah, where is that? Because now I have eels. <laughs> And torpedo to fight a goddamn fucking 30 foot shark. Oh, it'd be glorious. It would be. Yeah. Someday. Someday. Um, so, yeah, there they are all geared up, stowed weapons. They are six inch guys. Like all G.I. Joe classified. Yep. Yeah. Hi, Mom. So final thoughts. I'm going four and a half hammers on these guys. They are typical G.I. Joe classified goodness. However, they're straps because this guy has lost an ankle. Um, the fact that those can't stay up is, I think, the only thing that needs improvement at this point. And maybe plugging in backpacks. Yeah. Although, otherwise, sculpt, paint, eye intensity, <laughs> accessories. It's all there. Oh man, we've, we've moved on from thigh swivel to high intensity. Yes! Ah, uh, I want to review the new Dr. Doom toys so bad. Uh, yeah, I'm going to echo that, except that I'm going to give him 4.5. And I'm going to give him 4 because he is punished for being an Amazon exclusive. Oh. And F exclusives. I'm super... It's not the toy's fault. The toy is great. I thought that might have gotten a five. Listen, the fact that I can't put his backpack in easily ever okay. annoys me. Yeah. Um, none of my other G.I. Joe guys have that problem. I put his on super easy. And this is the guy who needs the backpack. Like it's his True, true, true. Um but yeah, no, they're both they're both they're both fives, but they're Hasbro G.I. Joe guys, so they're overpriced. He's an exclusive to Hasbro Pulse and Amazon, so F them. I hate exclusives. It's Agreed. all Walmart's fault. Agreed. But yeah, they're great. If you like G.I. Joe, get these guys. If you like cool guys, they'd be great Marvel villains or decent, you know, just get them. Or Valiverse, they look great fighting Valiverse. They fit in great. I'm going to end up gluing the straps, but that, like, I don't I suppose they could sculpt them that way, but then we'd bitch that they didn't paint them right. They should have a plug or something. There's a heat shrink material. I think there's a way to do it. Other people have. It'd be like five dollars extra or something yeah. per figure. So good enough. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Cats and dogs, watching our videos. Thank you everybody.